Yeah, my dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned. in the world, sat next to me here, Joe Joyce and Joseph Parker with the WBO Interim Heavyweight Championship on the line. It's a fight of significance, it's two of the best in the world, it's BT Sport box office and it's at the AO Arena Manchester, just down the road on Saturday. It's brought to you by the Queensbury in association with Boxer and it's one that we're all very excited about. As you can see we've got a, uh, we've got a very busy Top table here, plenty of voices that you're going to want to hear from. On the Joe Parker side of things, we have Joe Parker's long time, uh, he represented Joe Parker for so long, Mr. David Higgins, who's always excited at a press conference. Uh, and we're looking forward to hearing his thoughts. We have Andy Lee, former world middleweight champion, now turned trainer. He is, of course, the trainer of former world champion Joe Parker. And, of course, Ben Shalom of Boxer, who is Joe Parker's promoter. And sat next to me here, a man who's looking to become a two-time world heavyweight champion one day soon, Joseph Parker. You know. On the Joe Joyce side of the table, we have Ishmael Salas, who's the long-time uh, trainer of Joe Joyce. You've probably seen him this week in those platform booths. I, I don't know how he keeps up in them, but it's, it's great fun watching one of their workouts. We've got Adam Morley, long-time manager of Joe Joyce of S-Jam Boxing. And we have Queensbury CEO George Warren, who is joining us and sat alongside him. The unbeaten Olympic silver medalist, the juggernaut, the man steamrolling his way towards the top of the heavyweight division. Or so he thinks. I'm sorry, I'm sure Joe Parker has some other ideas. Uh, we'll speak first to George Warren. Uh, George, a great show, Saturday night. Uh, it's one that's been in the making for a little while. See this one up for us. I think, I think we... We're all just happy to finally get this fight on. Um, credit to both guys. It's a fight, I think Steve Bones got it pretty accurately yesterday in the Independent when he said, it's not a fight that either guy really needed, but here we are, and it's a testament to both guys for stepping up and doing it. WBO number one, WBO number two, the interim title's on the line, and whilst some people might not like that word, it's an important word, particularly at the moment in the heavyweight division because we all know Usyk with the unified titles is angling towards a possible undisputed fight early next year with Tyson Fury but the belt that's won on Saturday night is going to play a lot into what happens for the remainder of 2023 in the heavyweight division. We are here because Joe Jones wanted this fight. That's, that's the reason. We've worked very hard to get there. Um, I think mean, both sides have probably admit it's not been the easiest deal to get done. Thought we had it done and we didn't, and you know, thankfully we, we, we managed to resolve some issues and get it done and over the line. It's going to be a cracking night, it's a stacked card. Really, really, really happy to be working with so many different promoters, you know, including Boxer. You know, appreciate their support, and particularly from Ben and from Sky for allowing us to make this and to make it happen on BT Box Office. Um, that type of Good spirit of nature is required in this sport at, at times, and we, we see it across the whole card, to be honest, if I'm honest. Yeah. We've got Lou Bella working with us with regards to the Anthony Cacci and Michael Magnesi fight. Um, you know, the, the great, the legend, Amanda Serrano, looking to unify again in, in her division, working with MVP Jake, Jake Paul and Nikisa, credit to them for being there. <laughs> And even our friends at Top Rank for taking us with the ESPN Plus. So this really is a culmination of a lot of different promotional companies coming together, making fights happen, delivering for fight fans, and have a cracking atmosphere in there, enthusiastic about it all. And I, for me, I just can't wait for it. I think it's one of those, everyone's got their, this, everyone's got their opinion on the outcome of the fight. For me, this guy wins. And if he wins it, I think he's going to win it in style. Um, and that's it, that's it. It's, it. You know, Saturday night, the end of the day, the talk will be done. But I'm, I'm confident, that's what we're doing. Before I, uh, I move over to, to, to Ben, just George Orson, you're picking your man here. George Orson will win this fight. Tell us what he does better than Joe Parker and why you think he's going to win the fight. <coughs> I, think, I think they're both 
very, very good fights. I mean, listen, you, you don't sit number one and number two in a, in a governing body, and you know, obviously, up until the, the fight was sanctioned for the interim title, they held high ratings with other governing bodies and independent rankings legitimately rate these guys in certainly in the top ten. Arguably, both could be sitting here and contested as being top five fighters. I just think overall it is Joe Joe Joyce whose engine, his willpower, his determination, his size and his strength is going to see him come through this. Um, Joe Parker is a former world champion, a very, very accomplished fighter. He's got a great training team, um, you know, particularly training with, with Andy Liam, up and with Tyson, that's certainly going to do him some credit for the fight. But I just think the momentum is with Joe and I think this is his time to shine. Well, let's bring in uh, Ben Shalom. Ben, uh, I was going to say welcome, but really you're welcoming us. You're in your neck of the woods, Manchester. Um, at the launch press conference, you were pretty adamant that Joe Joyce had made a mistake by taking this fight. Uh, now that we're here a couple of couple of days away, do you stand by those comments and, and tell us your general thoughts heading into Saturday? Yeah, I mean, to echo George's word, I think outside the top, four guys maybe, this is the biggest fight in the division. With what's on the line, um, he mentions Joe Joyce wanting this fight. When we signed Joseph Parker, despite him signing with us, he said to me, Ben, if there is a way to make this Joe Joyce happen, this fight happen, make it happen. And uh, we managed to work with George, and we managed to get the terms that, that Joseph wanted, and, and George was great with that, but this is the fight that Joseph Parker wanted. Make no mistake about that. And so, to be able to get it on for him, he feels like this is an opportunity that is coming at the right time, the right time in his career, given he's now with Andy Lee, he's now had a few fights with Andy Lee, feels like he's coming into the peak of his career. He's 30 years old, he's a former world champion, but he's 30 years old, he's seven years younger than Joe Joyce, and he feels fresh, he feels ready, he's got the experience, and this, we felt like, was the perfect fight, and yeah, thankfully, with Queensbury and, and obviously with BT as well. The fight is on and the fans are happy. I think the car's very, very good as well and I can't wait for Saturday night. Well, let's bring in Adam Morley of SJAM. So long you've been in the corner of Joe Joyce and uh, I've heard you say in interviews this week that this is the fight that takes Joe Joyce to the next level. Yeah, thanks, Steph. I mean, we have tremendous respect. I personally have respect for Joe, but as a team, we have tremendous respect for for Joseph Parker, you know, a former world champion, but he's got the heart of a warrior and he's elite. And he's at the top level and he's a world champion and Joe wants to get there. I think that Joe Joyce can get there and Joe Joyce will get there on Saturday night. I think Joe's team have at least publicly been saying things which show very little respect for Joe Joyce. I heard someone on their side say he had zero boxing ability. I think you look at this man, he's 14 and 0, he's going to go 15 and 0. Find, find me a British heavyweight that's got his resume at 14 and 0. He's not fought anyone with a losing record. He's beaten former world champions, beaten Daniel Dubois, who everyone said would flatten him in two or three rounds. He consistently defies expectations and consistently defies the disrespect that he gets constantly. And I think on Saturday you're going to see the real level of Joe Joyce and what he does when he faces off against the fighter at the very top of the division. No doubt when Joe wins people will still criticise things, but this guy is going up and up and up and only going one way. And for me, Usyk, Fury, Joe Joyce are the top three in the division. What do you make of comments um, that are floating around out there from the Parker camp that this could, could be an easy fight for Joe Parker? I think sometimes people say things to make themselves feel better. I don't think they're serious about that. I think you've got people like David Higgins, Andy Lee, both very experienced, both understand boxing. It's the opposite of an easy fight. I think it won't be an easy fight, but I think they both know that. I think they're all trying to make themselves feel confident, give themselves some confidence, <coughs> pretend it'll be an easy fight. Joseph Parker is saying he's going to finish the fight early. I just don't think that stands up to any scrutiny, that comment. Let's speak to David Higgins, who I don't think has made comments like that. David Higgins, you've been, uh, been with Joe for his whole career, as far as I understand, certainly the most part of it. Um, 
How are you feeling heading into this fight, this important, important fight for Joe Farmer on Saturday night? Hey, um, thank you, everyone. We're, we're feeling good, and it's a um, privilege to be here back in action in Manchester for the fourth time. Joseph's had three fights in Manchester so far, three wins, so and he's been welcomed by Tyson Fury and the wonderful people around him. Um, it's almost like family, so it's not like fighting in in the territory, it's almost like a home fight. So we, we love it here, and we've got a good record here. Um, I think I think to say that this stuff flies around on social media, but to suggest we don't respect Joyce is silly. Um, we have massive respect for Joyce. There's a reason that most top heavyweights have avoided Joe Joyce. Obviously, that amateur pedigree medal, um, unbeaten, and all those attributes of uh, height and whatever, like he's, he's a formidable opponent. Uh, but Al Joseph Parker has never shied away from risk, uh, has stepped as quick as possible into the biggest fights, the biggest occasions, with an eye for the world title. I think the fourth quickest to get the WBO title, backed up against Dimmy White, got robbed. Maybe it should be a draw, we'll talk about that later. But the point being, I think the fans they don't care about the politics. They want to see the big fights on the big stages, the best versus the best. And I think outside the title holders, in Joyce and Parker, you've got the two heavyweights at the very top. Um, some people are calling it a 50-50 fight. It's an international blockbuster event on worldwide TV. It's intriguing. There's pros and cons with both guys. Obviously, Joyce, we talked about that height, that reach, all of that. But, you know, Parker, look at his resume. Andy Ruiz Jr., Takam, Chisora twice, Joshua, that level of experience, even into the late rounds, you call, almost call Joseph, Joseph Parker a veteran at that level. Joyce certainly has not been at that level, so when Joe Joyce is going to sleep, he might be wondering how he's going to go up at, at that next level. Um, and, and, you know, credit to Joe Joyce and his team for, for making it happen. There's been a bit of politics, like it's taken a few, probably nearly a year to make the fight. That's not ideal, but hey, none of that matters now. There's only three things that matter. Most of all, who wins the fight? That matters. Second, no one gets robbed by the judges or the referee. You know, you don't have the referee pulling one guy off when he shouldn't be. You don't have judges favour in close rounds. Um, nothing against the panel of officials. Uh, I think they've all got good track records and we're just looking for straight back that, you know, it's a fair fight. And then the third thing is that all the bills get paid, everyone gets paid. That's all that matters now. Who wins? Fair fight. Everyone gets paid. So, you know, we're, we're grateful for the opportunity and thank you for having us. So, David, just on that point, your money's in escrow. Yeah, it's, it's an escrow to someone else, it's not, to, not to Parker. So, so David, David, it's an escrow. So it is, but David, it's not. But, 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 but let's, let's, let's talk about the fight. Okay, it's been a very frustrating time dealing with you to the point where you had to bring in different people to get the fight made. Let's not go down that road, let's talk about the fight. Your money's an escrow. Sure, let's talk about the fight then. Question? Anything else, David? I mean, I've got I've made my point. Three things. Who wins? Fair fight, no one gets robbed, money gets paid, no problem. Let's yeah. bring in if the choice wins. Awesome, you know, he deserves it. We just want a fair fight. Well, let's bring in Ismail Sass. There's a, there's a lot to unpack there. Ismail, one of the comments that I heard was that Joe Joyce will be going to sleep uh, on Saturday night. I know you've got a different opinion. Talk to me, how are you, uh, how are you seeing this one? Okay, uh, good afternoon to everyone. I've been following uh, Mr. Joe Parker and his team, his training camp for, for this fight, and he been doing a crane conditioning. He went to the track and field every day, working hard. But one thing I'd like to say to the team, you can run, but remember you can hide. When the bell is on, you will see the real Joe Nights. How important was it to get that fight in, in July? A little, uh, a little bit of activity, a little chance to work on some stuff. How important is that in relation to this fight, the fact that you got out there? Yeah, uh, every fight is important for in this level, no? Uh, for Joe, Joseph Park, for Joe Joyce, 
it's a uh, one step forward for the big fight. So I believe that this team is working so hard that uh, we 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 does. We, we've been working with this, so many good sparring partners. We have uh, like the 89 round sparring round for this fight. So, uh, yeah, the, 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 yes, that's why I like to say, you know, so the hammer fight was a, 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 a break the, the ice. He broke the ice because in 18, 18 months it was a layoff, no fight for different pandemic or situation. But uh, at the end of the day, we fought. Jojo is a switch on, he's injured. We test him, he's injured. Um, everybody knew he was a man down. As we will see on, on Saturday night, man down, man down. Man down. Uh, well, that, that feels like a good time to bring in Andy Lee. Uh, Andy, you, you've been quite bullish when talking about this fight. It was yourself that said it could be, and I stress again, it could be an easy fight for Joe Parker. You said if you compare the two boxers, they are leagues apart. Tell us more and tell us uh, your reaction to the man down comment from Ishmael Salas. Well, anybody can be made an easy fight, depending on how, what style you use and the tactics you use. And Joseph Parker has been well drilled throughout this camp. He knows what he has to do to make this an easy fight. I'm not going to say anything about how he should do it, but he knows, and I know. <coughs> we don't disrespect, I mean, no disrespect to Joe Joyce. We all know his credentials in the sport and what he's done so far. He hasn't fought anybody like Joseph Parker yet. It will be a hard fight, but that's, that, at this level, that's, that's a minimum requirement to work hard. Um, but Joseph Park has all the skill, the speed and the talent, the patience and determination to win this fight easy if he does it well. You mentioned about them being leagues apart. Uh, an opportunity to, to explain that comment or, or double down or, or whatever you want to say. Who's got the faster hands? Parker. Who's got the faster feet? Parker. Who gives more coordinate? Parker. Who's got the most experience? Parker. Who's the younger man? Parker. Who's probably the one, arguably now, with one punch power, knockout power? Parker. So in that sense, when you put it all together, Parker is leagues apart. Joyce is big, strong, good engine, takes a good punch and punches hard himself. We know what we're up against. Um, but as I said, this is elite. Joe's reaching new levels all the time. Forget what you've seen in the past in Parker. You only saw a glimpse of it in the second, in the last, or the second Zero fight. Every week, every day in the gym, he's improving and reaching new levels. And he has a different mindset now. He's a different person, really. In his life, outside the ring, and in the gym, and in his preparation, and his professionalness. Um, and you're only going to, he's only tapping into his potential. This is just another step for Joseph Parker on the way to become two-time world champion. Well, let's bring in Joe Parker. Um, Joe, I just want to take you back to the launch press conference. There were comments from Joe Joyce where he referred to you as little Joe Tickle. It went fairly viral, it was quite funny at the time. Um, do you feel as though he's, he's got sort of no respect for your power to suggest that your power is ticklish? What do you think? Uh, first of the afternoon, everyone. Good to see you on here. Good to see Team Parker here, Joe from New Zealand. Team Fury. Welcome to you. I don't really care what he thinks or what his, what his opinion is on my power or how I fight. Uh, he'll get a taste of it on Saturday night. I've done the work. And I thank you and Andy says, and we're putting the work. Me and Andy <coughs> in the gym every day, grinding away. You know, got Tyson there and joining our run and you know, training and cheering us on and being positive vibes. So I've done, you know, the food, recovery, everything. Everything has been ticked off in this camp. So there's no excuses, there's no doubts. 
Is there a reason why I want to go in there and lose this fight? I want to go in there and win. And win well. Do you agree with Andy that it could be an easy night for you on Saturday? It depends. It depends on what, what I show up as. Joe Joyce is one style. I don't see any adjustments, I don't see any change. It depends how I show up. Well, look, he's right here. I just want you to have a look at him. Tell me what you see when you look at Joe Joyce. There's, there's been plenty of videos out there on social media. There's been words like lump used quite frequently. What do you see when you look at Joe Joyce? A lump. <laughs> a big man. A man that's confident, a man that's ready, but a man that's going to be stopped in his tracks. Mm -hmm. Do you truly believe that? Yes, I truly believe that. Oh, excellent. I'm very confident going into this fight, no doubt. I'm going to stop you right on your tracks. Hype train. Was that a hype train? Huh? Okay. Well, Joe, shall see. We shall see. We shall see. Joe, uh, happy birthday for Monday 37 now. Oh, happy birthday. Monday. Uh, thank you. You know, it's given birthday beats, is that, is that, is that the plan? Right. Birthday beats, is it? No, give him a check out. 37, 37, 37. Get my Zimmer frame now. And the, uh, you've, been in, you've been in the sport a long time, actually. Um, I do. Season, I season fair. Very, very much. But I've got a lot more to give. I feel like I'm refreshed and renewed. Oh, keep repeating that over and over, you will believe it. Yeah, I do believe it. That's what I'm saying. Joe, uh, uh, Joe Joyce here, and welcome to the <coughs> team. Something in the build-up, and I asked you about this yesterday as well. Joe Parker here is seeing a psychologist. A lot of boxers do it. Yeah, there's no problem with it. He's been doing it for a little while in, in his career. What, what do you think of that? Um, maybe there's something in his, you know, some weakness in his uh, mental capabilities that he needs to work on. I would imagine. <laughs> I don't know if it's capable, I don't know how to reply to his comments. <laughs> well, look, another, another thing, Joe, um, what would you make of these comments that they're, they're, it could be an easy night uh, against Joe Joyce? Is there such a thing as an easy night against Joe Joyce? I don't believe so. It's, uh, he's going to find out in the uh, real time. Punches and uh, head, body, and, uh, and all over. <laughs> I asked uh, I asked Joe Parker to have a look at you uh, and tell us what he thought. Here's your opportunity. Have a look at Joe Parker. What do you see when you look at this man? He called you a lump. What do you think of that? Well, he, uh, I guess that's the way he sees it. Sees me, and uh, this uh, big lump is going to be coming at you on Saturday night. And um, I think your training camp has been, you've been preparing very, very nicely and I think, every, you know, it's good to see your family here and everybody here going to tune in and be there and support. So, um, let's get it on. Listen, you're not alone. Dave's a little longer. I'm a little I'll, I'll take a little to say to that. But I, I've gotten very little to say. I've got very little to say. I'm the nuts in the middle. <laughs> But let, let's, let's go back, get back to the people that actually fight for a living. Um, Joe Joyce, tell me this, there's a lot of talk about how many shots you take. And, and a lot of the talk from the, the Parker side is, yeah, he takes a lot of shots, he's got a great chin, but how many can he actually take? How many can he keep taking? That's what they're all talking about, your granite chin. Do you feel as though maybe your skills, Olympic silver medalist, unbeaten heavyweight, do you think maybe your skills are a little bit overlooked in this? Yeah, like, I mean, I've had a really great camp uh, me and my team and Salas over there, we've been working on the technique, he's been sending me little clips of things that I need to work on in the fight, so, you know, we're well prepared and done all the uh, biomechanics and the uh, just polishing up of, of my skills over the, the last camp, and it was really great to have that fight against Hammer to um, show I can take like three or four right hands and keep coming forward, so, uh, well, I'm, I'm in a better place than, uh, you know, improve upon from all the other, for, for the things that I need to improve in this, uh, improve in this fight, like the things I'm working on, etc. So I, I feel that I'm in the best place coming into this fight and, 
you know, what a great opponent in Joseph Parker. But I really look forward to this. He's, uh, you know, seems ready and. Um, uh, yeah, just, uh, there's not much more I can say. I just, I just want to get the gloves on and, and fight him. But uh, we're gonna, we we'll go through this little uh, talking session here. I hope you all enjoy it. <laughs> I think they are enjoying it. Um, look, Joe Parker, I'm not gonna keep you all much longer. But tell me how you see this fight playing out when that first bell rings on Saturday night. Get the tune and see. I'm gonna come out there and do my thing. But a great camp, and I'm ready to go. Joe Joyce, you're right, reply to sign us off. Yes, be there. It's going to be all action, fight. There's going to be skills, there's going to be everything that you want to see. So just make sure you're there and tune in. Well, we're going to do some face offs, which are going to be fun with Joe Joyce and Joe Parker. Thank you for everyone tuning in across the Queen's Ring, the BT, and the top rank social media platforms. And we'll see you My dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned.